Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of March 2021. So let's pull your overarching energy or message Leo as I turn the cards, there you are, <laughs> and see what we get for you. So what do we have for Leo please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Leos, thank you for the week what is the overarching energy so i'm using the tarot grand lux angel answer cards radiant wise spirit and the rider weight classic deck and the oracle of the fairies leo so we have the two of coins as your overarching energy message for leo please message for our lovely leos don't stop <laughs> i love that love it with the two of coins oh what a nice message okay so i'm going to pull three cards leo as you know i always do first card is your issue or challenge second card is advice from spirit and the third card is your near future outcome then we clarify the cards, go deeper into the message, and it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you, okay? So what do we have for Leo, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Leos, thank you. 22nd to the 28th of March, 2021. Let me just adjust my mic, sorry, one second. Okay, what do we have for our lovely Leos, please? I like the first card to fall out. Tunes with your energy. Thank you. Interesting. I've got the sun in your challenge position. Nine of pentacles is the advice from spirit. And the fool is your outcome or near future outcome. Let's clarify. Go deeper into the message, please. Angel spirits guides for Leo. What do we have for Leo? Thank you. Message for our lovely Leos, please. 22nd to the 28th of March, 2021. Okay, we have the Ace of Wands. Ah! <laughs> Yes, we have the sun twice. Wow. Okay, they're being very specific here. And we have the five of cups with the full card, bottom of the deck. Oh my goodness. The moon, moon and sun. Things are going to become clear, Leo. Oh, lovely. So I'm definitely getting this energy in terms of money, career, finances. I mean, yes, I could see this as a relationship or something like that, but it feels more to do with money, career, finances. The, the two of coins is a card of juggling, a lot on your plate, adapting, um, wanting to bring good things in, you know, just trying to bring the expansion, growth, good fortune into your life. So it feels quite commercial in this respect. Um, you might have been hit by some kind of like financial challenge or it might well be for some of you, you're just trying to, you've got a lot on your plate. Uh, that could be to do with money, career, finances. It could be to do with different areas of your life, you know, pulling you in different directions. You know, it might well be you're trying to get the happy medium, happy balance between different areas of your life. It definitely feels for some of you, you're wanting to, you're trying to adapt to prioritise to bring greater growth into your life it feels to do i'm definitely getting this money vibe money career finances and the message is that yes it feels overwhelming leo i mean this can be juggling money you know this can be about you know um taking from peter to pay paul you know it can be that kind of energy um but it, it feels in this situation that it's well within your capability to deal with you know, even though this might be getting you down, even though it 
it, it feels like it's pushing you to the edge of what you're capable of dealing with. Remember, this person walks on a tightrope and juggles at the same time, you know, but they're not dropping anything. So it is absolutely within your capability to deal with. Um, so the message is keep on going. You're doing fine. And if that's what you need to hear from spirit, then the message is you, you're doing fine. You're doing the right thing. Stay focused. Keep prioritizing. Keep using your practical energy, ability, perseverance, patience, knowledge to, to and keep on putting your energy into this because it's going to bring reward. So there's definitely an energy of just don't stop. It feels overwhelming, spirit recognizes it over, it's overwhelming, but you're going to come through the other side of this with bells on, you know, <laughs> it's that kind of energy. So, and what are you wanting to manifest? Well, it feels to do with some kind of opportunity. It just doesn't feel like it's happening. You know, good news, celebration, happiness is the sun card. It just doesn't seem like it's there right now. You know, there could be delays, there could be setbacks. It might just be evading you right now. It might be getting you a bit down, Leo. Yeah, the message is don't let it distract you from focusing, from prioritizing, from doing what you need to do here. Um, because remember, these energies are you know, great success energies. There's definitely an energy with the sun. Something could be put on hold here as well. If you have, um, it, feel, it feels to do with something's been put on hold. I'm definitely getting some kind of um, vibe here, Leo. There may have been some kind of setback here, some delay in terms of getting some kind of opportunity. It feels something may have been put on hold as well. So it definitely feels in this energy. You're just trying to, it just feels like you're, you've got a lot on your plate. And the message is, yeah, it feels overwhelming the situation, but just keep on doing what you're doing. Don't stop. Yeah. I mean, if you're wanting to prove yourself in terms of getting a promotion or getting a new job, um, there could have been some kind of setback here. But there's new life here. All of a sudden, something bursts into life. Because it feels like what you've been waiting for or what you've been, you know, working towards here... It definitely feels in this situation, Leo, that you're going to get the reward. The Nine of Pentacles is material success, abundance, uh, somebody who has really worked hard. And that's as a result of this Two of Pentacles, really worked hard to further themselves in terms of money, career, finances. I mean, this is a card of luxury, a card of having more than enough, a card of feeling success, stability, security. But you making it happen. So again, it just feels in this energy of, it feels like some opportunity is, is coming your way. There may well have been delays and then all of a sudden you're getting some kind of green light. You're getting the opportunity. Things just burst to life again. And this is about you stepping into your power, stepping into your light. I'm definitely getting this energy here of stepping into the luxury, financial security. There's also an entrepreneurial energy that goes with this, so that might resonate if you've been taking action towards a business and you haven't seen it flourishing. There's a feeling of it's going to flourish here. Um, just keep on doing what you're doing if you're grappling with something here, Leo, as well. But it definitely feels either with a business or a new business it would be, or with, um, yeah, some kind of, of job or career opportunity, financial opportunity. It definitely feels like something is bursting to life here. All of a sudden it's game on. And we have the success. So any setbacks, delays, things being put on hold, it feels like 
the obstacle is finally removing, being removed. And this is feeling good, happy, celebration, joy, success. So that's what Spirit is telling you is coming your way. It's not clear yet, Leo. I know it's not clear. The clarity isn't there. You don't know what's going to happen. But here's the thing the universe does. So don't let yourself get down. You know, don't let yourself, your emotions, you know, cloud your judgment, cloud you from doing the practical things that you need to do. There can be high emotions involved with the moon energy and they cloud the clarity, you know. So there's definitely an energy here of you don't have the full picture, but the universe does and soon things will become clear. Just do the practical things that you need to do, prioritise, keep on doing what you're doing and don't stop because the new beginning is coming your way which will allow you to release from any disappointment of the past. Five of Cups can be disappointment. Five of Cups can also be about feeling a failure. And it's liberating from that energy. It feels like something's getting you down. Something's making you feel not in your element. You know, the sun is in a challenged position. The sun is your ruler. So you don't feel quite in your vibe, in your element right now. But you soon will do. You don't have the big picture, but this is a card of hidden blessings. You're being you're watched over. You know, there's definitely an energy of, you know, there's not full clarity here, but it will become clear. It will become clear. Um, and again, if there was delay, setbacks, um, things put on hold, it feels that there is all of a sudden this new energy surge of that is linking towards you being in the success that you've been working towards. So it feels very, very beautiful. So don't, it feels like you're releasing from feeling a failure something getting you down. I love the fuel energy. It's new beginnings, new chapters. Um, very, very beautiful energy. So I'm going to pull a final message. Final message for Leo, please. Final message for Leo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because you're about to get it. We have wish wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. Wow. And these are the practical steps, you know, the two of coins, practical steps. Feels overwhelming. Feels like you might be compromising other areas of your life as well, Leo, in order to achieve this. But it definitely feels in this situation, boy, is it going to be worth it, yeah? I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.